So in this quick video here, I'm going to be giving you guys a bit of a demonstration on how to <coughs> install um, hard drives into the two bay NAS, specifically in this case, the DS220 plus. So uh, the drives that I got for this particular uh, unit are the Seagate Iron Wolf Pro uh, 12 terabyte. And I, there are two of these you see here. Uh, so what I'm going to end up doing is putting these two drives in a, redu a redundant uh, RAID configuration, effectively meaning that each drive is going to mirror each other, um, allowing for a one drive failure rate, essentially meaning if one of the drives fail, um, I don't lose all my data. I can just go buy a new one, put it in, and then the uh, NAS unit will rebuild the RAID array and copy the data from the drive that was still left over to the new drive that is installed so by doing that you only get um, a total of 12 terabytes of capacity um, but so anyway and the reason I went with Iron Wolf Pro uh, rather than the standard is just for longevity and reliability reasons uh, to allow the hard drives to basically last um, a longer duration of use so um, the process of installing the drives in here is actually incredibly simple uh, and you don't need any tools. It's all uh, toolless design, which is very good. And you can also, uh, well, before I get to that, so to open it, you need to just pull off the faceplate here, which is super easy. Again, no tools, just it's held on by little rubber feet. So you can take that off, set it to the side. And what you see here are the two drive bays uh, that are basically trays uh, that you pull out and you have some pu push buttons up here at the top uh, so the one on the left is drive one and the one on the uh, right side is drive two indicated by the little white dots as you can see right there uh, but the way to pull those out is you push on the little push button and at the same time pull on the little handle on the tray and what that's going to do is allow you to pull the tray out and then right there. So it's not necessarily hot swappable, but it in some sense is uh, because it, to swap a drive, if it particularly uh, in some case fails, pull it out and pop another one in and you're good to go. Anyway, so these drive trays allow both three and a half inch drives, which are the size that I have right now, or you can install a two and a half inch drive if you wanna go that route. Uh, and save a little money because two and a half inch drives are actually a little bit cheaper. Um, and you also can put an SSD in here as well, whether it be a two and a half inch SSD or an NVMe SSD. So it accepts kind of a wide range of storage drive options. Anyway, so to put the three and a half inch drive into this tray, you have little clips right here that say pull, pull that off and then you pull this little rail off of here and you do that on both sides like so. And then you'll grab the drive and make sure that the SATA connector is pointing away from the handle, as you can see here. So we wanna put this kind of in like so, slot it down in there, make sure it's nice and tight and that the holes line up so you can put the little uh, rails back on. So let's go ahead and put this side back on now. So you kind of line it up with these little tabs right here put that right in there push and push over here till it clicks okay and that side is now in and let's grab the other side and put it back in here as well line up the holes hear the click click done that's all you got to do and so one of the drives is now installed and then what you do is just slide it right into the tray here push it till it clicks and that drive is now installed in the unit super simple same thing goes for the other side pull it out push the button do that pull the little side tray things off or side clips grab the second drive put it in there again make sure it's lined up make sure the holes are lined up again there we go Grab the little side clip, put it on there, line up the holes, there we 
we go. So clip snaps into place. Good, good. And the other side. There we go. And there we have it. Drive two, now clipped. And slot right in. Push. There you go. Both drives are now in the unit and you're essentially ready to go just put the face plate back on here and again it's just held on by these little rubber feet so it's again super easy to put on and take off so it kind of goes on like that there you go and there you go both the hard drives are now installed in the nas unit and you're ready to start it up if you're coming from buying this thing new and need to set it up for the first time or if you're needing to replace the drive and kind of forgot how to do that now you know how. So anyway, that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys thought it was helpful. If you have any questions or need help, drop those down below and hit that like button as well and the subscribe button. Um, both of those let me know that you guys are enjoying my content and help out the channel greatly. Um, but yeah, that all being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.